Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Apple Dreadnoughts and to the Spanish campaign where the Italians are causing problems. Uh, we basically want to smack them, smack them down as quickly as possible, I think. Um, you could actually just... Actually, no, I have ships coming that way. You would be more useful down here for now. Uh, so, the plan is very much to eliminate the Italians. Uh, I don't really want to be in a war with Japan, so we'll improve relations with them. Uh, shouldn't be too difficult. We've got a port strike. Oh, hello. Chance to sink some capital ships. Straight off the bat. Italy can't have that many. No, oh, they've got, they've got five. How? <laughs> How are you managing that? Hey, look, the Soviets have got a positive economy. <laughs> Good for them. I mean, they should, really, given how vast their territory is. Um, yeah, okay. Okay, because it's been it's been it since the, since it's been a couple of days since I've been recording, so I'm just trying to familiarise myself with what is going on. Let's have a look at this. So we got the oh a mixture, two Cervantes and the San Francisco Javier, along with the Aguila, twenty inch guns. Oh, we know what this one is. This one's shite. Um. Okay. Okay. Sure. It's the one from uh, Rome's Titan. Should be able to deal with that. Although, night time. Don't know who that benefits. Right. Um. Yes. Dishoso, follow Cervantes, San Francisco, you're probably going to be operating on your... Oh no, the Santa Perpetua can come with you. Uh, and you can follow... The... Oh, there we go, nice and simple. Yeah, enemy is dead ahead, that's also nice and simple. Accelerate to battle speed, if you please. So, yeah, this is the battleship, right? Yep. It's there. This has got 17 inch guns, this thing. So I'm going to assume... Oh, that's a nice Doria. Uh, not Doria. Uh, Littorio kind of style turret on the back. Um, I'm assuming this has no armor either. superior range on those 14 Mark 5s. Right. I'm going to have the Javier target the battle cruiser, actually. While Cervantes and Dicoso target the battleship. Need to close the distance to get our accuracy up. Well, there's a hit, though. The 
seven and a half. Seven point eight. It's good enough. Start getting more guns on target. I'm going to push in with the older ships a little bit though. They're not as fast. Okay, we've got the battlecruiser I need. The Donzella. Oh, it does have armour. Okay. Switch up to AP then. Uh, you've got that thick main belt. Okay. That's not what I remembered. Am I just remembering wrong? I thought the battleships had nothing on them. Well, it's an unpleasant discovery. is trying to eliminate the uh, transports actually so far not a lot of damage though from us to focus on that battleship then. I'll destroy the main tower on the battlecruiser, that's nice. It's fairly... I'm being a little bit cagey here. So I'm going to have better accuracy at range than they do. I need to be careful, Santa Perpetua in particular. I know the AI loves to uh, shoot up my cruisers, battle cruisers, I should say. Santa Perpetua. Yeah, taking too much heat. Get out. There we go. Main belt pens. Yeah, that's the stuff. I can glory her down to about 50% of her health. Oh, Santa Perpetua took a big hit, though. On target the battleship. I 
I'll target the Nuestra. <laughs> I know you want to. Why are you firing HE? Jesus. Nothing. Another main belt pen. Nothing. Some uh, damage to the towers and things. Try and get the two inch to kill the transport. Another solid hit. Gloria is a big ship. Oh my god. They uh, they did go for La Giuliana. Oh, got her. Broke her apart. Superb. Where are you going? It's going kind of fire control. Or oh, they're going after the cruiser. Savantes coming coming in hard here. Oh yeah, look at that. Lovely hit. The Donzella has armor, but not enough for this kind of close range engagement. They've got a lot of flooding. That is enough to sink the ship. If uh, all of those compartments completely flood. Fire on both sides. Oh my word, I didn't even think there was a bit of friendly fire there. She also hit the Cervantes, but fortunately Shell didn't do anything. Nah, I think they're done for. Doesn't look like they're stopping that flooding. Down they go. Oh, superb. Okay, we took a few hits there. Santa Perpetua and La Giuliana both taking uh, a fair bit of damage, I think. Um, but still alive, and the Italians are not excellent. 
Next up, we have a port strike mission led by the Gonya uh, against uh, the old uh, Kutai corners, which are not bad, but they're a little bit out of date these days. Mm -mm. Let's see if we can't shawl this away. Right. Uh, you two split up. And we've got what? Just a bunch of destroyers? Yeah, a bunch of destroyers. Out there over there. Let's go. Oh, they're running. Huh. Let's go to battle then. It's annoying. But, yeah, I, I've, I've long ago since learned that if you get a ghost battle, just forget it. <laughs> Don't even bother. Like, if you just see the enemy running away, it's like, oh, no. I mean, they're, they're perfectly fast ships. Wait, what? Oh, of course, because I just left. <laughs> Wait, so if you leave, it auto resolves? Okay, good to know. Well, we lost the destroyer because of that. That was stupid of me. Um, apologies to the uh, crew of the Rayo. Um, <laughs> okay. So I can't do that, fuck's sake. Ultra Resolve is garbage. Let's go. That's a good looking ship. It is a good looking ship. I still think this should be a torpedo launcher. Maybe get rid of that. But otherwise, not bad. Now, the thing I've been debating is what do I do with regards to the refits for the San Francisco Javier's? Now, I could refit them immediately, but uh, then they're, they're going to be out for like two, three months. It's probably fine. Um, do you know what? Screw it. We're going to do it. I... I it's been delayed because of the uh, war we had with Austria. I might as well get them upgraded. I mean, they're still doing fine, but... Um, it would be nice. And we can get a new class of ship under construction as well. Expand the fleet a bit.
Murdering transports. There we go. Oh, look at that. Savage. I mean, the cruiser over there, the Italian cruiser, does have some armor. It's not totally vulnerable. It just can't match the sheer volume of dagger that we throw out at it. And now they're running away. Oh, dearie me. I thought I'd fix running away. They must have changed... Well, I know they changed stuff. They must have changed whatever it is that makes the AI an absolute coward. I mean, we have flooded it. It's probably slowing down. Nope. Or not. Wow, what kind of auxiliary engine have you got? Batteries. Advanced batteries. Hmm... I mean, we should still be going oh, very slightly faster, but only just. And more luck with high explosive. The uh, destroyer can catch up a bit faster, can't it? Full speed. time lapse this I took a little bit of damage, but uh, still managed to get that cruiser eventually. Okay, so of the San Francisco's, the only the San Julian is currently operational. So if I do a refit, I'll be able to stagger them, um, which is handy. So I think I will do that. Let's go into the refit mode, um, and then I think I should I should design a new ship. I've not done that for a while. And we could use some more 16-inch armed ships. We've got the money and the capacity to do it. So now we have 16-inch Mark IVs. Very nice. Um, make those two-inch guns 40s now. Yes, we can. Uh, lovely. Uh, what else can we add to the ship? A radar. That's pretty handy. Auto-loading guns. Triple base. Should make their shells more punchy, I think. So currently they can go through 11.3 inches at 20,000 meters. Yeah, 
that's 10.8. Lovely. Uh, modern armor. Fancy, fancy. All three. Shall five. And that is that is quite quite the set of upgrades. Um, what do we do with the five percent weight? Mm. Ah, obvious one. Maximum bulkheads, improving their survivability. Um. And uh, not your range, making their mission generation a bit better. Pretty pretty light refit, to be honest. But that is a that is a pretty pretty good capability upgrade. It's only three months, so we should be able to stagger everything. Yeah, brilliant. Right, I'm gonna go on all of this on the one, and then I'm gonna get the other two through and then once they're all refitted we'll start construction because they don't have that much spare ship yard capacity okay um it's the following month all three uh san francisco's are now in for a cheeky little refit which is perfect um obviously we're pretty busy with the repairs and we've got a lot of foreign orders at the moment so i need to kind of clear that out um before I can I can lay down some new ships. So the Cervantes has found one of these Donzellas. Um, I'm a little bit concerned here because although well, I know the Cervantes can kill that battle cruiser, she's not exactly fast enough to catch it. Um, but what she is fast enough and, what the, and the ships I do have that are fast enough to catch it are relatively nice. You no, know, they are nice. Cru a nice cruiser and a nice destroyer, which those 17-inch guns can do a hell of a lot of damage to. So this is a little bit awkward. I'm not quite sure how to deal with this. So she's coming in. Okay, that actually helps me a little bit. She's going to come in. Maybe bait her. With the, the Cometa and the... Uh, Guadina. Well, Cervantes... Puts her down. Don't do very much. Can we switch up to AP? What's an AP round do? Ah, yeah, there we go. Main belt pen. Why are we using HE? Tch. Hmm, possibly that's why. Oh, change, change an aspect, that's why. What are they doing now? See, they were thinking about running away, but then they're like, ah, but there's a destroyer over there I want to kill. AP. Nothing. Lovely. Bit of flooding.
Yeah, there we go. We need the flooding to slow her down. All flooding right in the middle of the ship. Good, good, good. And we'll be able to pump that out because the section didn't go red. More damage, more flooding. Nothing. Jesus. Boom. Flooding. Good. Ah, oh, solid. A lot of flooding for them now. And again. It's so silly that you can game the AI like that. Um, probably one of the biggest problems with the multiplayer, but yeah, shows up in the single player too because you can just be like, ha 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 ha! Look, look at my uh, look at my destroyer over here! Ah, kill! And then <laughs> you just waltz up to it with a battleship. Oh dearie me! Back to the map. All right, we've also got the Isabel and the Valente. Found how they found the Aquila de Oro. Uh, tough ask, but I, I think we can do it. I think we can take it down. It's worth a try. Okay. I'm actually going to split you two rather than using the old uh, follow tactics. I'm going to split you two up. One of you is going to follow that one, and the other one is going to follow that one. So that each. has a cruiser following it. <laughs> Again, I think we just go pretty aggressive because it's going to go for the uh, the heavy cruisers, right? This uh, big bulky boy. We just kind of want to chase it down. But I want you two to focus on the battleship. Transports will mostly take care of themselves, unless they have torpedoes, of course. Always a hilarious option. I don't see any. Main deck pen. Two more main deck pens. That's pretty nice. See the advantage of the uh, higher mark of gun, though. Much higher range. Cruisers can get to work on the transports.
that an 8 inch show, yeah. <laughs> right, 3 inch guns. There's a transport right there. Same problem. There you go. Flooding hit. Very nice. A bit of damage. Ooh, uh. Now, is it Begonia? Yeah, Begonia. Torpedoes on the Aquila. And the same goes for you. Oh, nice. 14 inch guns connecting. Set of rounds going in. No way, you fire an HE. Could you please fire some torpedoes? Well, you're doing it too. Another problem that I that is pretty bad in the multiplayer is uh, that lack of shell selection. Begonia did fire her torpedoes. Just don't know where they've gone. Oh, there they are. Oh no, those are from the uh, and Coronada. Nice hits. Oh, they got the Incoronada. Damn. Oh, jeez, that means the uh, Begonia's in serious trouble. It's about to get absolutely wrecked. Why are we not firing? Ah, you're waiting for the uh, rear turret to swing around. Did a little bit. Not very much though. Oh, she's actually going for Volante. It's interesting. Well, yeah, maybe you can get some torps in. Good damage. It's a lot of flooding. She's nearly gone.
spamming a sinking transport. Jesus. Unnecessary damage. Ah, oh, she goes down. Okay, shame about losing the cruiser. It is only an Encoronada, which they're not that great. Still an annoyance, but I'll take it. I'll take a three billion dollar battleship over a hundred and thirty dollar uh, heavy cruiser any day of the week. All right. Uh, yeah, back to the map. All right. Uh, we have the Degenis, another twenty inch. Ship, uh, the Gallardo Cervantes, along with Eltuza and Flora. Going to try and get rid of her. Should be doable, one would hope. <laughs> Again, probably using the same tactic of drawing them in um, with promise of a of a tasty, tasty uh, heavy cruiser with torpedoes on it. And then blapping them. So Gardo full in. Flora full in. Torpedoes off. Atsuza full in. Torpedoes off. Because you can maybe just sail right up to it and torpedo it. You two. Uh, wait. Yeah, you're both fastish. You're going to be the distraction force. Okay, let's go. There is our the talking, talking. I can do. Uh, there's also the transports, of course, which uh, we'll want to eliminate. But Gardo is probably the ship that is going to have to do the killing of this thing. Because those 14-inch guns can go through its main belt close range. Right, what I'm going to do is the battle cruisers for now and the battleship just going to have them target all weapons at the battleship. And then when we get closer, um, I will um, let them free target with their secondaries. But just want to be hyper aggressive, just drive right on them. Make them concerned. Took out a secondary gun. Okay. Right, this should tell us. Yeah, see, it's going for a. Uh, I think. Trying to go for the St. Thomas Aquinas. Oh, bloody hell, definitely is. I wasn't expecting it to take a hit like that straight away. But if I retreat her, or him, uh, the AI will probably try and pursue. No, they're going for the other cruiser. on then. Come after my cruisers. Be 
out to try to get a torpedo strike on it. It's hard though, she's maneuvering quite a lot. You might actually have a good angle there. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Off. Out what they were doing. I think they're, yeah, they're coming around. Ah! Okay, now you can fire them. Because you're going to have to bug out. Aratuza, you can fire. Alright, torpedoes away. Aratuza, if you wouldn't mind firing, that would be great. Lovely. Right, keep going the way you're going. Okay. So we've got one set here. And we've got one set here. Oh, God. That's fired way too far forward. And this one's fired aft. For oh, fuck's sake. Be so useless. Still, they have done damage to the battleship here. What's it going for now? Yeah, she's still going for the flora. Uh, okay. Don't want to run into my own torps. Thank you very much. I'm here to be answering your helm. That doesn't help. Still trying to hit, <laughs> get up to close the distance. Arethusa is doing okay here. All the transports are gone. Bring them. <sighs> oh, Come on, Flora. You can do this. Yeah, they're taking a lot of losses. Secondary guns keep getting blown off. I might be able to make them surrender. Comes guard it. Surrender, you bastards. Of 
43.5. Ow! No! Flora! <laughs> Jesus! Yes! <laughs> she surrendered. Presumably after Aratus has said, I've reloaded my torpedoes, or I'm about to. Flora, absolute champion of a ship. How many hits did you take? Uh, 25 hits from 20 inch guns. Still going. Impressive. Very impressive. In fact, so impressive, I think that's a perfect end to the episode. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll uh, see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.